it's really gained have uh, you, popularity. Yeah, have you seen any direct evidence um, uh, of, of vitamin D's anti-estrogenic effects? I mean, there are some studies that talk about receptors, but I know you're you're not a fan of just the receptor effect. It's the whole cell that needs to be taken into account. Do you know of any yeah, uh, studies uh, that the, compare it? Uh, the receptor is a good sign of deficiency of, of vitamin D uh, as you become deficient in uh, the, the uh, 25 hydroxycholecalciferol. You begin to produce the uh, both the receptor and the so-called active uh, uh, vitamin D, one comma twenty-five dihydroxycholecalciferol, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, part of the toxicity, uh, uh, people get very confused uh, and fail to uh, uh, work out the ramifications uh, of the so-called active vitamin D and receptor uh, as being uh, associated with uh, a lot of toxic uh, harmful effects uh, that are reduced by adequate calcium and uh, the not active form of vitamin D. I was reading... It, it's actually active, but it, it isn't what they call active. I was reading a few days ago about like calcitriol or 125, dihydroxy being associated with prolactin and growth hormone, so it certainly seems like uh, the, the people advocating for that approach aren't considering these other things that you, you have plugged into your whole beautiful picture of physiology. Okay, so let me hide this. Uh, this one, we were just talking about digestion, so let me play this one from Will. Well, one oh, one other question. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what, about, uh, what about the interaction of vitamin D3, uh, colecalciferol, with estrogen? Uh, they seem to oppose each other. Do you have any, have you seen any studies or any experiments done that, that demonstrate this more directly? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't think of the uh, references right now, but I've, I've seen good evidence of uh, op opposition of, uh, of good vitamin D and calcium to uh, 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 the effects of estrogen. Do, does intracellular calcium turn on aromatase? Yeah, yeah, uh, excitation uh, of of the cell uh, uh, generally turns it on. Uh, stress uh, tendency to uh, be on the death pathway. Uh, uh, that is part of the aging process, uh, and uh, it, it gradually increases the, the amount of estrogen coming out of your arms and legs and fat and other parts. But, but a deficiency of dietary calcium also increases aromatase because it increases PTH, right? Uh, right. Uh, it, 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 like a deficiency of, uh, of the good vitamin D, uh, calcium deficiency uh, uh, it increases stress. Uh, and uh, 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 activates uh, the, the whole system, uh, androtensin, aldosterone, parathyroid hormone, uh, and estrogen. 